What's up, Nation? This is your coach, Billy McMullen, former Philadelphia Eagle and University of Virginia All-American. We're here to give you the best information on YouTube, the web, worldwide of how to play receiver properly. Today, we're going to be talking about Deshaun Jackson versus Josh Norman in practice. Well, this is about two years ago, but uh, we're going to just dig into it so you guys can see what's going on. Um, we all know that just Deshaun has elite speed. He has elite speed, but I'm going to show you guys today. It doesn't matter if you have elite speed or if you're a slower guy, faster guy, bigger guy. you got to have patience. Patience. This is the play right here. He's a very patient receiver. With a 4-3, maybe even 4-2 speed, he's a still a patient guy. All right, so like we always teach, make sure you know, know what your opponent can do. All right, know who your opponent is. So it's obvious Mr. Jackson has, uh, has uh, did his homework on Josh Norman. All right, if you guys know anything about Josh Norman, when he was in Carolina, he played a totally different defense, and he played against different receivers. He played against big receivers. Now, they, they weren't slow, but they weren't elite speed like Mr. Jackson here, okay? So once you've know, done your homework off the field, knowing what type of DB you got, knowing that he may not have elite speed or may not even have the hips, because the scheme allowed him to be that type of cornerback. Not saying he's a, a bad cornerback, but he guys fit better in schemes. So if you hear guys uh, guys on NFL talking about schemes, and you got a scheme guy, some guys go to teams, and they they don't fit fit as well in the scheme as they did the previous year. So they get paid to go to a different scheme, and they don't do as well. So Josh Norman is a little bit out of his element in the Redskins scheme, even though he does pretty good. He just plays a better way at, uh, with Carolina. So let's look at it. Inside technique, like always, don't want to give it up. Got inside help. But basically, even though it's one-on-one, -on -one, he knows he has a safety over top, okay? So inside help. Hey, look at his stance, okay? More than likely, he's going to be, uh, Josh Norman is going to play uh, some type of soft shoe technique. If you want to learn about more soft shoe techniques, go over to my man Mark Parsons' uh, page on YouTube and check that out. Cornerback pro. All right, so let's just slow it down here. Boom. All right, let's put it, put it in slow motion. Um, so you would think that with all that speed, he's just going to take off on him, right? Now nah, he's going to set him up. All right, look, bam. I'm square just like he's square, all right? If you go back to the snap of the ball, in terms of body uh, position and body language and, and, and being strong at the point of contact, the defensive back has the proper leverage. Look at him. It looks like a squat. He's been doing this all day in the weight room. His leverage is better than our leverage, all right? Look at Deshaun. He's on a single leg. He's not as powerful, right? Watch his first move. Watch what Deshaun Jackson does. And he gets square. We talk about this in my Beatman program, Beatman Press program. This is one of the releases. He's square just like Josh Norman. And just like I said, he was set up for a soft shoe technique, meaning he's not real aggressive at the line. Why is he not real aggressive at the line? Because he knows Deshaun Jackson has elite speed. So he's trying to squeeze, stay as square as possible on his, on his play, all right? So even with that said, all right, you see... And this might have actually might even been outside technique. Matter of fact, why? Because he's playing outside. So I might have called that wrong. He's playing outside. Look where his buddy is pointing to the outside. So Deshaun Jackson takes the easy road at first, right? Right? Because he's gonna set him up. So if we keep playing it, he takes that takes that easy road, and he opens um, Josh hips all the way up, pointing the other direction. But because he's patient. Because he's patient, he's taking his time, he sets him up nicely. All right? Takes his time, sets him a night outside. Notice how he makes that outside move. I see a lot of you young receiver and older guys make this outside move with your, with your shoulders sticking straight up. Shoulders straight up. All right? Look at his body language, man. This is the weight room. Why you do all those weights and can't, and can't make this move, right? Outside shoulder swipes. Not a lot of action with the hands, but he swipes. Swipes, Josh is dead, man. Look at the body. Is it, unless Josh runs a four three, I mean a four one or a three nine, he's done. His body's way out of position. He set him up perfectly. Outside technique now, because I've seen where he actually let him go. He let him go inside. Look at that inside. Set him up. Power move outside. He's dead, man. He's dead. Let's let it play. Up top. Touchdown. Let me show y'all something else you young cats don't do. I was out the, I was on the field today with some young some younger receivers. Like even though it feels like he's open, 
right now, which he is. Watch what he does. Watch what he does. He doesn't look for the ball yet, right? That's not the point of catch. He does what we call dig. He's digging to a spot. He's digging. Look, head down, full sprint, up the field. Watch when he starts to locate. Do you see where he looked for the ball? Young receivers, look where he looked for the ball. He's looking up here in the sky, not back to the quarterback. If your quarterback hadn't thrown his ball yet, he's not looking back here. If your quarterback hadn't thrown his ball yet, it's too late. Now, a guy like Josh Norman can catch up and make a play. We got an easy touchdown. It's too late. Game over. All right? Hey, guys, make sure make sure you know what you're, what you're going against, all right? Make sure you know what you're going against. I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos, guys. I want y'all guys to get good. But check this out. I want y'all to know this. We're starting a, a, a private group, a private receiver group, mastery group, for only for the hungry, only for the hungry, guys. This is live. I'll be coaching you up live, answering your questions live, breaking down film live, going over coverage live, bringing some of my NFL buddies on there live so we can coach you guys up. It's every Sunday. And when you join this group, you get, a, you get as of right now, you get the Beatman Press program for free, for free. So email me at wideoutpro at gmail.com right now and ask about my mastery group, my private mastery group. Look, I only want the hungry guys. Don't, don't email me if you guys are playing around. I want the guys that really want to learn, all right? So email me at wideoutpro at gmail.com and let's get this money.